So what is the Army Corps of Engineers doing down the shore, and what can it do? Joining us now from the State House, the Army Corps Project Manager, Keith Watson. Mr. Watson, it's good of you to join us. First of all, at this stage of, I guess, the recovery down the shore, what is the exact role that the Army Corps is playing? We've begun projects uh, on Brigantine, uh, Absecon Island, which includes Atlantic City and Ventnor, uh, Ocean City, and on the Townsend's Inlet, the Hereford Inlet Reach, which includes Avalon and, and Stone Harbor. And what, when you say projects, what exactly? Are these dredging operations aimed at pushing sand back on the beach to, to rebuild the dunes, that sort of thing? Yeah, each of the projects I mentioned are uh, storm damage reduction projects, which essentially are large beach fill with dunes as the protective feature. What about other communities and areas that did not have the benefit of these systems in place? What are the plans there? Uh, as part of the Relief Act, the Corps of Engineers has been tasked to do, uh, as far as coastal storm protection, three separate missions to repair the existing projects that were damaged, restore those, and to move and construct areas that have been authorized but yet not constructed under the program. Well, some places we're hearing reports that the Army Corps really can't move in and get started if there are these disagreements with some people, beachfront residents among others, who simply don't want the dune systems there, who don't want the beaches built up. Is that true? There's some studies that need to be done. And in fact, in a couple cases, we need to sign project partnership agreements with the non-federal sponsor to be able to move out to do any work in those areas. So Mr. Watson, if I read you correctly, there are some places down the shore who maybe need these projects, who in some cases may want these projects, but who essentially may not be able to get these projects for, what, months, maybe years, because of some of these complicating factors? Yeah, we can't give you an exact time frame on when the projects could be completed, but the, the Corps is reporting up to Congress on May 1st. There's a report due to Congress that will list all the areas that are eligible for the Corps projects and uh, basically a schedule and the um, items that need to be taken care of before we can move there. And what about the money, sir? We know about the hurricane disaster funds that were sent here by Congress. We also know that the country is going through budget cuts and sequestration. How much of an impact will that have on your ability to deliver some of these improvements? We, we expect to have the guidance come out in May or June to allow us to move forward and fund those projects to complete the construction. But right now, we, we don't have that guidance or the way forward at the moment. And who does that guidance come from? Uh, that, that will be uh, down to us from the Assistant Secretary of the Army. And through coordination with Congress and the uh, Office of Management and Budget, the Corps of Engineers will be tasked to move out and complete the projects as, uh, as we are directed. Mr. Watson, have to leave it there. Thank you for coming on, sir. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you very much.